hello everybody and welcome to your I believe 20th Allegro 5 platformer tutorial and um, in this tutorial we are going to be uh, continuing on with our code and in this tutorial we're going to be uh, doing some menu linking and what I mean by menu linking is that whenever we press a menu item depending on what we press it's going to do something right um, so it's gonna go to another screen. It's gonna display another menu. Whatever you you like it to do. Okay. So what we gotta do to start off is um, I guess we'll we'll open up the screen manager class. And what we gotta do now is we gotta include the map class. Okay. Uh, so in the map class, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a map. Uh, map and this map is going to contain uh, the the key name or whatever is gonna be a string and it's gonna contain some game screens uh, uh, game screen pointers and we'll just call this um, screen directory or whatever you like to call it uh, it's really up to you um, so what we're gonna do now is in our screen manager in the initialize what we're gonna do is just take our screen directory and we're just gonna add in all the screens that we have already now there is there's alternate ways to go about what I'm gonna be showing you but uh, this is an easy way to do it and um, yeah it's fun so we're just gonna say new splash screen and we're just gonna say new screen directory title screen equals new title screen so whenever you we make a new screen we're gonna have to do this but um yeah just just bear with me with this okay so uh now what we're gonna want to do is we're going to want to modify the add screen um the ash screen method okay so instead of taking a, in a game screen now what we're going to be taking in is a std string uh screen name so when we set new screen to something what we're going to do is we're just going to set new screen oh and we got to edit this edit this in our screen manager dot h uh so our ash screen Instead of a game screen, you put in a string. Uh, so we'll say screen directory, screen name. And so our new screen will be set to this whatever screen name they specify in here. Now, if you wanted to make it error proof, then you can say like, um, New, uh, you can in your map whenever you set something to map, like uh, where's our whenever we set something in here, we can set these to all lowercase or all uppercase or something. And when they type in the screen name or when you type in the screen name, you can say to lower whatever or to higher or to uppercase or something, right? So then, it, um, if you spell it right but you don't got the proper cases right, then you can always do that. Uh, but it's really up to you if you want to add that. So uh, every th so now, um, whenever we click something, we're going to specify the name of it. It's going to get it from our screen directory and then do whatever we need to do with it. So what do we got to do now? So we got to go to our splash screen. And whenever we call, uh, where's our update? So instead of calling a new title screen, we're just going to type in the words title screen okay so um and yeah so then in our in our title screen right whenever we click enter or something it brings us back to our it brings us back to our splash screen but that's not what we want to do you wanted to do that like when our menu item uh when our menu item clicks when we click a menu item or something that is the screen that updates right uh, so what we got to do is open up our 
our menu file and we're just gonna add some stuff to it and let me I'm gonna pause this and then open it up okay so I got my file now so now we load in an item right so now we're gonna have to uh, there's two more things that we can add right because in case the link is to another menu or if it's to another screen or whatever uh, we can add that in right now but to make our lives easier and to make this tutorial finish faster uh, we're just gonna say we're not gonna add them add in a link type we can add that in later and if we want to add in that functionality so uh in this case if they click new game if they click any of the screens we're just gonna put it back to the splash screen okay copy that paste it paste it there okay so now we got to go to our menu manager and uh we got to we got to go to our menu manager dot c dot h sorry and we got to add a new vector of strings and we gotta call it menu links or whatever you want to call it so in our menu manager dot cpp and just move this over here so we're gonna say that else if attributes ij is equal to item link then menu links dot pushback contents ij okay so we'll get our we got our item links and stuff specified so now we got to go to our menu manager uh dot update uh menu manager update where is where are you where are you okay there you are so now we're gonna just say um we'll just say if input dot is key pressed EV Allegro key uh let's say enter okay um then we're going to uh do our menu linking so we're gonna say that we're gonna call screen manager get instance dot add screen and we're gonna add in our menu links item number okay so what's gonna happen is that when we press the enter key it's going to search through our screen directory and then um, display the corresponding screen so let's go back to our title screen dot cpp and we can remove this right here and just have menu dot update right there so let's run this let's hope that it does not run with any errors if we got any errors we can fix these errors so it's got to recompile so we press enter so it does load it so our screen directory is working correctly so if we click load game it should fade out it should show our splash screen again like it did and um, so but when we press it back again, then we are getting an error. So let's check out what this error is, what this error is all about. So I never, I just paused it and I, and I re, uh, unpaused it. And I believe I know what the problem is. So saying it's the access violation. And, and this is very important that I thought I should show you guys. So what's happening is that whenever we call screen directory splash screen, whenever we call new splash screen, we're specifying um, that we're creating a new space in memory, right? And we have to deallocate it when we do it. So what we're doing is that once the splash screen comes up and we go to new title screen, right? Then our new screen is, is set to this value right here. But once we go down and we say delete current screen, then whatever's in screen directory title screen right whatever's in there is not being uh it's not being it is it's not there anymore it's deleted it's all gone so there's there's many possibilities that we can do so we can if we want is that after we've used it or something that we can say that um we can specify a new value for it when we're done with it right and um, that's fine or 
if we want, we don't actually have to delete this, right? Because we don't need to delete the current screen. We only need to delete them when we're done. Because what we were doing before is that we were, every single time that we called it, we were creating a new instance of it. This one, we already have one instance of the class declared, so we don't need to de redeclare the instance of the class. We don't need to delete it, right? Because we're not creating a new one over and over again. So we can uh, we can get rid of that, and then in our screen manager's unload content, what we can do is I guess we can call this. We'll do a loop through map dot size. So I mean our screen our screen directory dot size, and then we can say delete screen manager. I'm a screen directory I and then we can clear it. Oh. Oh, in this case, sorry, so in this case, uh we have a problem, one more problem yet again. Uh so the screen directory is a map, so it takes in a string value. So what we're gonna have to do is use an iterator to iterate through it and then we're gonna have to clear it. Okay, so let's quickly create an iterator. So, std map, std string, game screen, iterator, and let's call this temp iterator. And in our for loop, we'll just say temp iterator is equal to screen directory dot begin. It loops till temp iterators less than screen directory dot end and which we'll click enter and we'll say temp iterator plus plus. Now to delete it, we'll just say temp iterator pointer to the second element, right? We're not deleting the the std map itself is a std pair like we looked at last tutorial. Uh, so we're not trying to delete the first element. We're trying to delete the second element. So we say delete temperature put uh, put a point into second, and that will delete it. And um, we can just call screen manager. I mean screen directory. Dot clear. So that should. Uh, oh, we already did that down there. Okay, so that should deallocate it properly. So let's run this and let's see if we get our desired result. And we're running into an error. Uh, temp iterator. Maybe I did something wrong. Hold on a second. Stupid mistake. It should be not equals screen directory dot n. And let's run this. Sorry, I haven't used iterators in a while, but yeah, uh, we do that. Goes back, and we don't have any errors. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, now you can have some menu linking. So if you add any new screens, you can um transfer to other screens using menu items. So uh, that's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, and I hope you really enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and bye